You'll never find a finer meat than boar, as black as the soil and twice as rich. But hunting the damned things is an unpleasant task, to say the least. Now that the sun is up, we will hunt as a pack, working together to take down a boar. We will strike from the hunting blinds around the valley, for we can spot the boar in the dense undergrowth without being seen. And you do not want to be seen. At least it's not raining. None of you, not even I, want to deal with that cursed razorback. I can no longer deny the pull that Alia has on me. She came to me, alone, as I walked the passes high above the valley. I know now that the draw was mutual. I explained to her why I could not, should not, why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly, why I could never make her happy. But it didn't matter what I said. As my mouth spoke, my arms reached out to enfold her, and we embraced. It has been so long, and I am still human. You're alive. Good. We got most of the wounded to safety, but the invaders returned. They've taken the upper village. There are more of us, down in the valley, organizing for our resistance. We'll take any extra hands we can get. If you're going back to the village, be careful. surrendered and the company men were watching had to turn him over they taken him back to the old prison just the ones they think might know something about the atlas constantine's gonna ask them a few questions they've got the rest back up near the cathedral hmm someone's gonna have some fun that must be them 
I was hoping they'd draw straws for that job. Oh, well. How long you been on the payroll? A few months. But this is my first wet work assignment. It's been too long since I was in the field. I got rusty. You? Been with Constantine for just about a year now. I had an old war buddy that vouched for me. Before that, I was working for one of the families in Kiev, and uh, I had to get out of town. Is there always this much opportunity? No, this, uh, this is a special case. Savor it. Usually it's much smaller scale and more discreet. That's a shame. I could get used to this. Yeah, I don't know. Something's weird about this. The company men are acting fancy yeah. out here. Usually we'll they're look. all business. What was that? I've attached to everything I've learned so far. Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is running a private army. But all roads lead to Rome. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm gonna die for this, I want to be on the right side for once. And Constantine, I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind.
incoming! Sweep and clear. I'm taking fire! Moving into cover! Ah! Gone! I have sinned in God's name. Much blood has been spilled on this valley floor. As I speak now, blood continues to flow. Forgive me. That the divine work requires sacrifices does not mean I am clean. Forgive me, for since I've suffered the stigmata in my youth, I've sinned in your name. Forgive those I've killed myself and those who've been killed in my name. They knew not what they were doing. Forgive me. Forgive me for the work I do is not yet done, and there is yet much blood to be spilled. We have a true test now, young ones. The valley is balance. When one thing slides, it affects all others. The fire two harvests ago led to an unusual bloom of berries. That led to more deer. And now, we've got too many damned wolves. They're not good eating, but to keep the valley in harmony, we're trekking wolves tonight. They come out after dark and roam the whole valley, but we're going to track them to their dens in caves and other underground places. Stay close together. When you hunt wolves, the wolves are just as likely to hunt you. For a month I have gone to the Forum to hear the Prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the Church in the West seek to silence the Prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world.
Security guards came at night. I knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon, point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. What did he say? It's not his call, but he's gonna put a recommendation in for us both. Then there'll be an initiation ceremony of some sort. So that's it? That's all he can do? Look, some of those guys were on contract for years before Trinity gave them rank. You have to be patient. There's more to it than performance. Like what? There's some sort of oath and then the ceremony. He said we'd find out soon enough. Grenade out! Take 
Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off, getting lost in memories, lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift, how I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done. And this time will be no different. There's a woman in the valley now. Not one of us, but not one of them either. I saw her the night Elias was killed. She fought the men who were hunting us. Now I hear whispers from the forward scouts. My father and this woman were seen, free and unhindered. There's no telling what she wants or if I can trust her. But if she brings my father back, then perhaps God has not abandoned us.
thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. Heads up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine... Some believe the Prophet to be God's son risen, but he makes no such claims. Some praise his actions as miracles, but he rejects such attributions. In his humility, his followers see the truth of his message. We see the change coming. I have shed the trappings of my station and now devote myself fully to the Prophet. I spread his word, recruiting others of my station to the cause. But this has enraged the elite and brought the full attention of the church in the West. Natives are protecting out here. The div I think there's someone out there.
matters our results. The stakes are too high. An unarmed woman? That would be cold even for you, Lara. Then again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have nowhere to go! Kill her! Now! Consider my offer, Laura, before it's too late. It was too late the moment you betrayed my family. I'm getting the Atlas, Anna. Something is slaughtering my men down there, Laura. If they can't find it, neither can you. Go to hell! Croft is on her way. Kill her and bring me that goddamned Atlas. <sighs> Croft continues to create difficulties for us. She's rallied the Valley people from their squalid huts and helped lead them to a series of victories. I wish I could make her understand just how wrong she is, how misguided her ideas of morality are. The world is too flawed for stopgaps. A lone hero cannot rescue it. The idea of revealing the Divine Source to the world would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Did I think she could be turned to Trinity's side before? Yes. But not anymore. We were close, she and I. There is a bond there, but... I think now there is no other choice. She must be broken. And I know she can be broken. I've broken stronger than her. <sighs> That's it. 
It has to be. I'm ahead of Anna now, but I don't know what I've gotten myself into here. Something else dwells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I've come too far. Anna thinks she knows me. And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, I might still have the upper hand. <laughs>